Welcome to my channel, you guys. I am so excited to bring you a back to school college edition essentials video. So we are going to tackle everything in here from decorations to bathroom to packing um, and everything you're going to need for the 2024 fall season. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any other videos that I make. So today we are going to be tackling dorm room essentials um, as well as storage, some decoration ideas, lighting, and a mini kitchen, depending on what you're accommodations are for your dorm rooms and I have a lot more other things that we are going to tackle in this video as well as your um, bathroom essentials etc etc so let's go ahead and get started with that you guys can definitely jot down some ideas for yourself so here we are looking at the sterile PTSD room of college dorms okay so you usually don't have a lot of space to work with here and you are usually sharing with a roommate so this is what the standard size rooms look like usually where you get a bed for each person as well as a desk and a chair for everyone. So the room is basically a blank layout. Um, so you're going to have to work a little bit harder to make it look like your oasis, kind of make it the room where you get to relax after you study. So this is what's going to carry you throughout your journey of college. So throughout your four years or however long you're going to be there, you definitely want to make this space your own. So first thing that I usually tackle when I get into these dorms is cleaning okay so you're gonna need a little bit of cleaning to do for um, the area you're gonna want to make the space nice so definitely Clorox wipes are something that you can definitely use to wipe down the area because usually it's a little bit dusty typically they do have housekeeping go in there and do a little bit of light cleaning but you can definitely go in and wipe down the closets the chairs and everything that's around there so to start with the decorations after you've done cleaning um, I wanted to tell you guys ways that you can make your room bright and spacious and roomy and make it feel like home. So to start, you're going to want to add a lot of plants. So when you start adding plants to your space, it kind of gives it this like natural feel and everything like that. And it kind of brings everything together. Um, this is where you're going to really want to invest in some pieces that is going to brighten up your room and make it a really nice space to be in. So again, I'm showing you guys this picture here. You can see the vines on the wall it kind of gives it a lived in natural space instead of giving it that like um, hospital room vibe you want to add in a lot of plants so here I'm going to show you guys a few options that you can definitely add to your room to make this as bright and spacious and lived in as possible so yeah this is going to just brighten up the room um with the plants what it does is it kind of acts on your mood and lets you know that there are things growing there that it is a space that you can be in and kind of have a refreshed mindset so you definitely want to invest in some of these little plants here um there are a lot of different price options so you can go for more affordable ones um a lot of people like to go for real plants which is really nice so as you can see in this picture here um adding these plants is really going to just kind of brighten up the space um you can go ahead and buy vines that are easy to water you don't want something that's like too complicated to grow in your room um but you definitely want something that is a lot lot easier to maintain. So another aspect of brightening up your room, as you've seen with the other previous pictures, is mirrors. So when you add mirrors into that small space, it just makes it look so much more like bigger. So it's going to give the illusion that there is a bigger space in there. And then you also want to go in with a lot of decoration. So bring in your personality by just kind of decorating with different textures. You can DIY your own stuff. You can also um, purchase a lot of these things on Etsy. Um, there are a lot of sellers who sell wall decorations. So you can make your own mix and match and kind of create a space where you feel like it's been lived in that like it's going to be your space where it kind of expresses your mood. And yeah, so you want to use really bright colors because these rooms again, as you've seen in the previous pictures are going to be very bleak and kind of just like very uh, sad looking. So you want to add in just bright colorful things that are going to make you really happy um so i know for a lot of people when they go to visit colleges you usually go and visit people's rooms that have already been decorated so usually you don't get to see that room that's just like really empty so yeah you definitely have a lot of stuff to work with here and as you guys can see in these pictures there's a lot of different ideas that you can do to kind of bring this space to life so whether that's like the um, common area usually in these dorms there's the common area that 
that you also have to decorate. Usually your RA will do that, but um, in your own room, you kind of want to bring in a lot of different decor pieces that you can kind of expand and make it look like your own space. So here you guys can see a mood board where it is a collection of different um, pieces. So like I said, things like bringing in wording that's going to make you feel really good about your day. Um, something that's going to motivate you every day when you wake up is something that is really nice to include in these photos. So again, for me, I really love bright colors. You want to liven up this hospital looking room. Um, sometimes they kind of look like prison cells, but you know, you just have to really go in there and make this room your own. So bring in your personality with cute bows or cute um, flowers or different things like that. Add in different textures. Go ahead and have fun with different patterns. Like for example here, I love how they did this three row pattern. And like here also, they have some bigger pieces. You guys can definitely get some inspiration from this and it kind of motivate you to do your own thing. So there is a lot left to tackle here. Um, I just love this aspect of adding in a wall decor piece. So the wall decor is definitely your number one option when you are decorating your room. This is going to be the quickest way to change it and kind of give personality to this room that you're going to be living in. The next most important part to master when you are taking care of your dorm is the storage area. So I brought back this picture to show you guys that sometimes you get a dresser like you see here or another mini little chest that goes underneath the bed. So this is what's going to be really important in keeping your room clean. So as you see in this picture here, I actually had a chest that looked exactly like the one you see underneath this bed here. And it was very helpful to be able to put my um, clothing items into and keep everything tidy. Now you can invest in another plastic container that you can also put under your bed. So basically the storage underneath your bed is going to be the number one thing that you can utilize to store away all your stuff. So like I said here, you can also get some plastic containers like this one here, or you can get one like this bin here that is really easy to kind of access. I usually like to keep them a little bit more clear so that I can see what's inside of them so that I don't forget what I have in there and then you can also invest in something like this where you can zipper it up so if you're storing something in a um, storage bag like this then you definitely want it to be items that are similar like if it's makeup products or different things like that so that you don't lose track of them i know that these crates have become really popular so you can definitely use those to kind of store away anything that you're not using like books or different things like that and um yeah this is going to make your storage area a lot easier so like you see in this picture here they've kind of stuffed these fabric drawers underneath the bed so like I said the bed area is definitely the best place to store all your stuff because in the rest of the room you're gonna have a closet you're gonna have another desk in there so it's just gonna be a lot easier to use underneath your bed as storage so you can use a lot of these materials that you see here as kind of a way to store everything I really like seeing these I kind of wish these were around when I was going to school because this was that this would have definitely come in handy for me um, and then these crates are really nice also because you can kind of put in like any extra toiletries or anything that you're not using you can also kind of use them um, for like extra books extra pencils so you can kind of keep that in your storage area one thing that I do want to tell you guys with the storage area is that when you use bed risers usually that is the way that you can maximize the height of your bed so you want to use bed risers like these ones um, I definitely did use some bed risers in my my dorm um, a couple of times they came in handy I only had to buy like one set of them and it was perfect um, they come in four sets of fours and it's really nice you just kind of prop the bed the bed up and then you have it for the rest of your semester um, I've never seen risers like these ones but if that's something you're into maybe do a little bit more research but definitely you can kind of stack your bed up that high sometimes your bed does come with the option of being able to raise it a little bit higher but if you guys need these bed
bed risers are definitely something really nice to invest in. They are made of plastic, but they're super heavy duty. Um, I haven't heard of anyone having any accidents with them. You just kind of prop them up properly. If you have a couple of people helping you in your dorm, it can definitely just help you um, put these up on the bed, under the bed. You're definitely going to need some people to help you lift it up. And then you can do that. Um, I've never seen these before, but I thought they were super cool. They're kind of like little wooden ones. Um, but really, the aesthetic doesn't really matter. You can kind of cover them up with your... This is kind of an idea of what you want the bottom of your bed to look like. You want the underneath storage area to kind of be organized so that you're not, you know, when you're in a rush looking for something, you're not kind of scrambling around to find your things. And then also I wanted to tell you guys that you can definitely, um, you might have to use like a step stool or a little step ladder. Um, a collapsible one is definitely a lot better to use because then it takes up less space. You kind of store it on the side of your desk and then you can use it to get up on your bed whenever you need to. So I thought that was a really really neat idea that you can do other than the usual bookcase or side table that you can use as extra storage there's also one more thing that you can use as a hidden storage in your room which is something that a lot of people actually invest in um they are the ottomans and you can get them um cheaper or you can get like a more sturdy expensive one but they have a hidden storage inside of them so you basically just open it and inside you have a lot of space to store any items that you need in your room and one thing that's really nice about them is that they double as extra seating so if you're someone who has people coming into um, your room um, like friends coming over and everything you can have hidden storage as well as an extra place to sit um, you can kind of use it as a little tabletop here too like you see here um, but yeah there's definitely different options you can get some leather ones the first one that you saw was kind of like a boucle fabric one um, you can definitely get yourself some that kind of match your um, decor aesthetic and you can just you know purchase these and make sure that you you utilize them in a way that is very functional for your room so i think that this is definitely a really good way to be able to gain some extra storage in your room so like you see here um, you can kind of store it underneath your bed or you can put it on the side usually um, you can put it by your side table i've seen some people put it like in front of their closet area just near that area so that they can have easy access to it but this is definitely one really good way to update your storage area Okay, so let's talk about one of my favorite things, which is lighting, okay? This is really important when you are in that dorm because they have these like very bright white light type of lighting and it is very, very hard to concentrate on there. So you are going to want to invest in some ambient lighting, okay? So if you're more of like a homebody, you're definitely gonna care about this more. So this is like for people like me. I love having a space where the lighting is really welcoming and inviting. Lighting. so definitely a floor lamp is something that you're going to want to get if you're someone who doesn't really like those bright lights and kind of value more of like a homey feel to their space so this is why these floor lamps are really important i've kind of placed together a couple of ideas that you guys can get for some really fun ones that you can use depending on the space um some of these can work and some of these won't be able to work but you can kind of put these like near your desk or something to kind of give you another option for lighting in the room if you're not doing homework if you're more into like your downtime and everything you can definitely use more of like a yellowish light that's going to give you kind of like a low sunset kind of lighting and then if you're doing homework or something like that you definitely then can use the option that you have in your room um so this is definitely not mandatory but it's something that makes the space feel so much more welcoming um like you guys can see these vines here too you can use them um definitely those like string lights lights are a really great option to kind of give more of like an ambient lighting to the room. So let's go ahead and switch to the other um, parts of this video. Okay, so I told you guys that I would be talking about a kitchen area. So this is only for the people who don't have a kitchen area to be able to use like a stove or like something like that. Because for me, I didn't have a kitchen area provided for us. We only had like a microwave outside. So I had to come through with my own um, fridge and kind of create a space for myself to be able to um, cook food on the days where maybe I wasn't going to get something um, from the cafeteria or I wasn't going to 
go out to eat. So if you don't have a kitchen area provided with a stove or a microwave, you're going to have to supply those things for yourself. Um, something like a mini fridge is definitely going to come in handy. This is going to be for your snacks, um, your fruits, your vegetables, whatever you need to get into your diet so that you can take care of yourself the best way that you possibly can. Um, this is definitely something that you want to absolutely put a lot of thought into because this is definitely going to get you through those rough days where you need to grab something to eat really quickly on the days where you don't have time to maybe make yourself something. The fridge is definitely going to come in handy. So I have obviously selected a few ideas that you guys can get for um, these mini fridge options. Um, the Keurig is also another great um, thing that you can, if you don't have a kitchen area, you can definitely stack this on top of your mini fridge and kind of make a little kitchen area yourself. Um, I know that for me in our dorm, we only had one person have a coffee maker and this was really chaotic sometimes where people needed to use it or, um, you know, it was kind of breaking down because too many people were using it. So you definitely want to invest in something more personable, something that you can use for yourself and you can share it with a few friends too, but it's really um, something that you want to think about getting if you're going to be in a space with a lot of other girls and, um, you know, you want to make sure that you guys take care of that stuff. You can definitely talk to your roommates about how you want to kind of delegate the coffee station. So these are a few ideas that you guys can put together. These are really great when you can grab your own mugs, but maybe put together like some coffee options that you guys prefer, um, your syrups, your cups, whatever that is, because on some of these rough mornings where you don't have time to maybe run to a coffee shop, you're definitely going to want to make your own coffee. I think that this is going to save you so much time, okay? Um, I think in college, discipline is something that definitely helps you a lot. So if you can discipline yourself to make your own coffee or make your own tea at your dorm before you head to class or wherever you have like a meeting or something, this is definitely going to be a great option for you guys. So also I've put a couple of pictures of mugs that you guys can utilize. I know that I'm bringing your own utensils and things like that are definitely going to be a key step for this um, category. So you definitely don't want to neglect that. And then also you want to get a really good mug or like a coffee cup that you can kind of store your hot or cold beverages in so that you can kind of carry it around with you. Um, I know that these ones are really great. You can get options without a handle. You can get options with a handle. So this kind of goes to show you want to kind of put together something that's going to be really helpful for you. Um, so yeah, these little cards are really nice. There's a lot of really nice little cards that you can use to put all of your food on. So these are some really great, great options that you guys can do. You just kind of choose a little corner, maybe in the common area area. The common area is usually an area that just has like a couch and like a space where everyone can kind of share it. So usually if your RA doesn't mind, you can definitely put like a coffee maker there. Um, you can kind of store a lot of different things there. So definitely kind of go along with whatever your dorm roommates kind of feel. Pick and choose what you want to use. I also kind of put in like a, investing in a good water bottle. This is really important. You want to stay hydrated. So this is going to be really nice. I've put some of the appliances that you guys will be able to use use like water heaters, different things like that for when you're making ramen. But if you have like a fully operated kitchen, this definitely doesn't pertain to you. But if you don't, this was really helpful when I was making like ramen noodles or any kind of quick meals that I needed to kind of get out of the way. You guys can definitely take some of these tips and, you know, use them the best way that you know.
Okay, so now we are talking about the bedding for the dorm room essentials, and this is really important, okay? So your room is obviously your sanctuary where you get rest. So you're definitely going to want to uh, make sure that it is a comfortable space when you get back to your dorm. So definitely when investing in your bedding, you're definitely going to want a mattress pad. I know that this is really, really important because those mattresses that the school provides are absolutely horrible. So don't even like debate it. It is going to be rough when you are sleeping on those things. So definitely having a really nice comforter set and a really nice mattress pad is definitely going to help you out. So definitely make sure that you um, have all of those essentials with you when you are moving into your dorm room. So um, again, with the bedding, again, you're going to want some really good pillows so that you can be able to be comfortable when you are sleeping. Um, and then of course, to decorate your bedding, you're going to want some um, fun and decorative pillows to add on there as well as a few blankets um so yeah depending on of course if you're going for the fall season um you're definitely going to want something um, like a blanket good set of blankets for when it starts getting cold outside so definitely go ahead and invest in something like that um, i know that you're not going to regret it you're going to be able to use them and yeah so this is going to just make your space really nice and beautiful so keep on watching and i hope that you guys enjoy the inspiration picks <laughs> Okay, so now we are in the clothing, shoes, essentials. So basically, I wanted to give you guys a kind of like a guide on how to arrange your clothing, shoes, and any other thing that you're going to need related to that. Um, not really just like what clothes to buy. Um, I do kind of go into detail into some shoes that you guys should definitely get, like sneakers, boots, rain boots. Um, those are kind of things that usually people forget, but um, I did put a couple of pictures of those. But I'm not going to tell you what types of clothing to wear. I'm just going to kind of tell you um, some essentials that you're going to need for your clothes college closet. So for the closet area, you're definitely going to want to be as precise with this as possible because you usually don't get a lot of space. So these are some pictures of like organization things that are going to help you kind of get things together. So something like a little shoe rack or something like that, like a cloth shoe holder that's going to be able to help you stack everything in order and then like places where you can kind of fold your clothes and put them in there. Anything that's going to help you in that way is going to be very useful to bring with you to your college dorm. Um, also things like hangers, don't forget to bring good hangers. Um, you want to get some really flat ones because you're trying to save on space. So something like the felt ones that they usually have, I think at Target, Walmart, and so many different places, you can definitely invest in those pieces and they will be really useful to you. So um, don't forget to bring your hangers. I also listed a couple of things like an ironing, um, an iron for ironing your clothes. Um, I know not a lot of people use that. Um, you know, there 
there are sprays out there where you can kind of use like a wrinkle free spray and um, you just kind of spray it on the clothes fold it up and then it kind of gets rid of all the wrinkles so if you don't want to invest in an iron you definitely don't have to it's not a requirement um, usually one thing that's really nice too is when you're in the dorms um, someone else might have like you know those bigger appliances so um, usually you can ask to borrow it or something like that so it's definitely not a necessity but it's definitely something that if you know that you want your clothes to be nice and ironed then you can definitely invest in one um, also for the closet space you definitely want some hooks I know that there are some over the door hooks that you can use without you know putting nails in the wall so you definitely want to be conscious of all those different things when you are dealing with where to store your clothes and everything like that um, so yeah all of these uh, appliances that I'm gonna show you here are definitely gonna come in handy I also go over some comfortable shoes that you're gonna want to bring to school with you um, this is just for like when you're on the go and you don't have time to really put anything um, you just want to you know slip something on your feet and just be out the door so I know that in college definitely time management is definitely something that is really important so I'm gonna show you guys a few um, pairs of shoes that you should definitely think about getting not necessarily the brand or the style of the shoe but you know you want to get some good sneakers boots and things like that and then um, you guys can take a look at those and then we'll go ahead and talk about some more like academic and study essentials that you guys should bring with you to college so let's go ahead and finish that up and then jump right into the next one Okay, so we are going to talk about everything academic and study essentials. So this portion of the video is definitely talking about stationaries, computers, notebooks, notepads, pens, pencils, um, all of those different things that you're going to need, obviously, because school is the main focus of why you are in college. Okay, um, obviously, for the computers, I'm not going to go into details about brand quality or anything like that. But just know that you need a standard computer to be able to work on because I know for now, um, all 
all, if not most of the notes that you're going to be taking are going to be on your laptop. Um, usually the professor just shares it with you um, and then you kind of follow along. But yes, if you do want to bring like a notebook or anything like that, I know that, you know, some people are a little bit more old school and love to write in a notebook. Like for me, I love writing things down because it just helps me memorize it more. Um, but yes, you're definitely going to want a good laptop to study with and kind of, you know, get all of your um, schooling things done. So this is going to be very important. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you have um, enough storage and all those different things like that to be able to get your work done because you don't want your technology to be what stops you from getting good grades or being successful during your school. Um, and then we have some calendars that we're going to look into here too. Um, this is also, it comes kind of into like the decoration piece. Obviously you want to invest in a good calendar. Um, I cannot breathe if I don't track down every assignment or anything that is coming up um, in the future for my homework assignments. I have to make sure to write everything down or else things just slip out of my mind. Um, especially for people who do sports. Like for me, I did tennis in college and this was definitely important for me to make sure that I didn't miss my practices. So yeah, you just want to make sure that you write down everything that you're going to need and a good calendar is definitely really important. Um, jumping into the backpack section, you're definitely going to want to get a good backpack and make sure that um, it is sturdy and strong enough to be able to hold your books and anything else that you might need. Um, I know for some people they go to work so your backpack can kind of act as like something that you can use for work you can also add like your sports equipment in there sometimes um, but like it all depends again some people do more like tote bags um, yeah so it depends on really your whatever you're going for but a good backpack is definitely really nice to have because when you're studying in the library and you're gonna need to carry your books a good backpack definitely comes in handy so um, yeah so throughout this I'm gonna show you guys a couple of ideas that you you can definitely use for um, like your notebooks and things like that um, but yeah the backpacks are definitely gonna be really um, helpful here so you don't have to get something that's super expensive um, but I do know you want to get a really good backpack though because I remember I bought a cheaper backpack and it fell apart on me on like the second day of school and I was like oh no so you definitely don't want that to happen to you you definitely want to invest in a good backpack um, so yeah make sure that it's something that's gonna help you out and not something that's going to be destroyed on like the second day um, because your backpack also you can hold your pencil cases in there your binders and everything else like that um, and then up next we're going to be talking about like the binders and such so for your notebooks um, again just a standard notebook you can color coordinate your notebooks to whatever you need um, whatever classes you have if you have like math sciences and things like that so you just want to be able to be organized in all those things um, for me the concept is if it looks cute then I'm not gonna forget to use it so definitely um, invest in some really nice um, notebooks and things like that that are just kind of make you they're gonna make you like want to write in them um, so yeah so get you yourself some standard notebooks and it will definitely be helpful um, you're also gonna see some binders in here which is also really helpful <laughs> Okay, so you're going to want to invest in a really good binder because the one thing with everything being digital and online is that you're going to have to print a lot of papers, okay? So with the constant having to hand in printed papers sometimes, you want to make sure that you have a good binder to be able to do so, put it in your backpack, and then keep all your papers and things um, organized. And then I also wanted to include a Bible in there. So for anyone who loves to do Bible study or anything like that, and this is a way for you to refresh your mind and kind of um, be into 
tuned with yourself. It is such a great way to um, just kind of keep up with how you're progressing your growth in college. Um, so yeah, so don't forget to bring your Bible with you and be able to do like Bible study, take notes and things like that. And also if you can get connected to a church, that's also really nice to be able to do when you're in college because it is kind of a crazy time um, where there's a lot of stressful things from your work, your school, your job. The world is just kind of demanding a lot of you. So you definitely want a place where you can reconnect again. So um, yeah, so there's notes and thoughts. I really wanted to add in um, this part of it because for those people who love to journal, like for me, I love like Bible reading and then journaling alongside of that. So that really helps me. So getting a good journal or like a good notebook to be able to do those kind of things is really helpful. And then you can also kind of get like some coloring pencils or like markers or different things like that just to be able to like um, keep some like Bible notes and things like that or when times get hard and even when you're celebrating and when you're happy and things like that. So I know that this is definitely something that is very personal to everyone. So um, if you're not comfortable with this, you know, definitely, um, you know, skip ahead. But um, this is definitely something that is true and dear to me. So I definitely wanted to remind you guys to bring your Bibles if this is something that helps you kind of refresh yourself. Okay, so moving on from that, um, the pens are a really great way to be able to, um, you know, write down your notes and things like that. So you can invest in really good pens and things. So um, here you can see some classic ones that you can use. Um, definitely make sure that um, you have a good pencil case to kind of keep track of where all these things go because these are like the easiest things to lose um, throughout your semester and you're definitely going to have to like re-up on them again. So just don't worry about that, but just make sure that you have the right appliances and things like that to be able to write. So next we are going into electronics again. Um, again, you guys are going to need a good pair of headphones when you're doing homework. So this is like a really, really um, important thing to have when you're in the library. Um, it kind of helps you focus. Um, and even if you're on your downtime, being able to like listen to music and such, it's just really helpful to be able to do. Um, and then like these headphones, you guys can definitely get some cheaper ones if that's not in your budget. And you can also get these ones if you would like. I'm thinking of maybe like putting a collection of different items here in the description box. And you guys let me know what other items that you want me to um, tag for you. But either way, I wanted to also bring to thought that you can use a speaker. So speakers are really great for doing homework too. Um, this is really nice because then you can kind of put music on and, you know, like kind of cheer yourself up as you're doing homework and things like that. Um, these are also really great for like movie nights and such. So you definitely want to invest in a good speaker. So that's definitely going to be really helpful. And then up next, we have a couple of other things coming up, like a Polaroid camera for capturing photos and things like that. So those are definitely really nice things to um, get into. Um, let's see what those look like and then we'll get into the bathroom essentials. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the shower essentials for college. Now the hygiene portion of everything. So you definitely want to make sure that you bring everything with you. Obviously, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, everything like that. Um, but there are also a few accessories that you can use to kind of organize these things. Of course, you're going to want something to hold your toothbrush in, um, your hand soaps, your face soaps, whatever that is. Um, but usually some of the bathrooms in college come with like a preset little arrangement 
engagement, but depending on where you are, they probably don't have this. So just check in and see if that's something that you need to get before you go ahead and get some. Um, but personally, I love bringing my own anyways. Um, I really love this little basket idea here. You can kind of, um, whatever section of the sink that you get, if it's a not a communal bathroom, you can kind of store your items in there. Um, this is something that you can also thrift. So I really love um, that option. I love the basket. And then here you guys can see here um, the shower. If it's a communal bathroom, usually you can kind of um, decipher with your roommate what kind of style you guys want to go for. Um, we had like personal dorm bathrooms. So um, for our section, so that's how that was. And then we kind of like picked out our own shower curtains or things like that. But um, a shower caddy definitely comes in handy. Um, this is what you're going to use to hold all your shampoos and things like that. Um, personally for me, I usually keep this under the sink or some people prefer to hold this stuff in their rooms. Um, I know for me, sometimes I'll keep like, I'll keep regular things under the sink, but like my more personal items, I just kind of keep those locked up in my room. Um, just because you don't want anyone like kind of getting into this stuff or whatever, but, um, just make sure that, you know, you know where your stuff is and everything's organized. So I would definitely love a shower caddy when it's time to go take a shower. You kind of have everything all in one go. So I have a couple of options for you guys here, as you can see for inspiration of what style of shower caddy you can go for. You can definitely go for the hard plastic ones, or you can go for this type of mesh one here. Um, with the mesh one though, I'm kind of worried about the bottom, like soaking up. I don't know. Like, I don't know. That, that one just seems a little iffy to me, but if you're into that, um, maybe you can just kind of like hang it up instead of like setting it down somewhere. Um, but the shower caddy is definitely a really important, um, thing to have in college when you're going to do your shower routines and everything. And then after the shower caddies, we do have a couple of options here. Um, but after the shower caddies, we have some laundry, laundry bags that we're going to be discussing. And for the laundry bags, you're going to definitely want to get a good laundry bag. Okay. So for different dorms, um, depending on where you're at, there are usually laundries, like the laundry room is usually downstairs or somewhere far away. So you definitely have to sort of like accommodate for having to travel with your laundry bag. Um, for something in your room, you can definitely have like a personal basket like this as like a laundry hamper. But to bring your laundry up and down, you definitely want like a backpack style of laundry bag to be able to carry everything. So this is definitely going to be really helpful for you. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of other options selected here. And then we're going to get into kind of like bathrobes and pajamas, towels and different things like that. So keep on watching and we'll get to those.
Okay, so in this section, I have some great tips for you guys for the actual move-in day, okay? So this is from stuff that I've experienced before, and I want to give you guys all of the nuggets of truth that I've learned from going to college myself. And anyways, I would like to ask you guys for a huge favor. If you could comment down below, if you are a parent watching this, a student, or, you know, a parent guardian, or grandmother watching to send this to their grandkids, um, go ahead and comment below who you are watching this for, or or if you were watching it for yourself, go ahead and comment that and I would love to chat with you below. So thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get into these great tips. Okay, so for today, we are going to tackle what the actual moving day is, okay? So as you've been seeing here, there are a lot of to-do lists. Go ahead and mark your to-do list for everything that you have to bring. Pack everything and load it into the car and once you get on campus, this is what you're gonna do. So the most important part, usually the college gives you a lanyard for you to put your ID card in but you're going to want to have a lanyard for this day because you're going to be unboxing and packing and signing things and grabbing your room keys. So a lanyard is going to keep your phone and your cards right there for when someone wants to identify you. Um, so go ahead and get yourself a lanyard and everything like that so that you can be organized for this day. And also I wanted to give you guys some tips on what to wear. So on this day, you will be moving some heavy boxes and kind of, you know, running up and down stairs. And if the elevator is busy, trust me, you're going to want to wear some comfortable shoes you don't want to wear shoes that you haven't broken in yet and then you also want to wear a hat because every move-in day i don't know why but it is always so hot okay so you're gonna be wearing a hat or some kind of thing to protect your eyes you can even do sunglasses if you're not really into bucket hats or hats and then also you want to be wearing some kind of gym shorts or regular outfit you don't want to be wearing any kind of jeans or anything that's going to bother you because i am telling you you're going to get so sweaty and there's going to be a lot of people helping you. So you want to make sure that you are ready to go. Okay. So also on that day, that same morning, you might feel nervous, but definitely eat something. Okay. Get something in your system. Make sure that you eat lunch or breakfast or whatever so that you can be ready and prepared for this day because you don't want to miss a meal and then be really hungry. And then like move in day is it's all hands on deck. Okay. So you're definitely going to be exuding a lot of energy. So make sure to eat and also make sure to drink 
drink a lot of water so that you're not dehydrated. You don't want to experience this, okay? You definitely want to be ready. So this is usually what move-in day looks like. You're carrying a bunch of things inside of bins and you're going to be pushing heavy things. Granted, there are a lot of people there to help you, which is really nice. I love that colleges have implemented that upperclassmen usually help as well as um, faculty and staff. So they're going to be helping you load everything into your car or unload everything out of your car. And so you want to be ready for this day as much as possible. Um, make sure to have everything inside site that you know that everything is yours and you're going to be using some pulleys and different things like that so definitely be careful and have fun moving because this is an experience that's definitely going to be life-changing for a lot of people so definitely you want to mark this day as a memorable day you want to have fun doing it and then also one thing that i wanted to kind of highlight on you don't want to forget a little bit of a toolkit um granted it is usually you're using more like command strips or things like that to hang things up but you definitely want a little toolkit in case you know you have to screw something in or you have some appliances that you yourself have brought and you need to set it up so go ahead and bring a little toolkit and then get ready for the next four years of your life so if you enjoyed today's video definitely go ahead and comment below what else you would love to see from me i would love to make another one of these videos so definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching